If you ever thought of the bird the transformer architecture, maybe not the most optimal architecture in the world. Maybe there are some variation of transformer they can achieve the better result. And if you need to redesign the transformer, what kind of、uh, twist would you do? Would you change a number of, number of layers or、uh, the attention and the fit for combination? Or what, or what else would you do? I think this is a very intriguing question. And this paper, the authors they try to reorder reorder the sub layers. Uh, sub layer means self attention layer and the fifth order layer in the transformer model, and to experiment if different order of the sub layers will achieve a better result. Super intriguing and also very eyes opening. I will really really recommend this paper. Super interesting paper and. After a series of experiments, they also found that the sandwich structure transformer usually perform better than the conventional transformer. So they created, designed their own one, sandwich transformer. That's why I just put a sandwich picture here. If you don't like sandwiches, don't till now. Otherwise, you'll get lonely. So let's look at the improved transformer models by. Reordering their sublayers. By the way, I make deep learning explained video every week. So if you would like to receive more relevant videos like this,、uh, don't forget to subscribe. And your subscription is also my best encouragement to make more video. Yeah, this is a drone work from Allen Institute for AI and Facebook AI Research, two very famous NLP research institutions. So we let's look at the the transformer standard transformer architecture first. Transformer consists of、uh, many transformer blocks, and the one block, or we call transformer layer, contains two very important components, two sub sub layers. The first one is、um, self attention layer, which is here, and this is the fifth or fifth or layer sub sub layer another sub layer. So this is the encoder part of the transformer, the standard architecture, and most of、uh, NLP models are using、uh, this architecture. So the bird is encoder part of the transformer, architecture wise. And if we、uh, kind of、uh, make it like、uh, more graphic, you can see this is the standard transformer. Architecture, or you can call it interleaved transformer, which means you have one attention layer, one fifth order layer, one attention layer, one fifth order layer. So this is one self attention layer, one fifth order layer, and two of them consists of、uh, made up the one block of transformer, one transformer transformer block, and this is another one, another one, but they all have the same order. So it's like a very theoretic structure, and this is the、uh, non-interleaved transformer, which means you randomly, you, you basically you don't have the theoretic structure. You can have like、uh, asymmetry or symmetry, but you just don't have like attention, fifth row attention, fifth row this kind of very theoretic architecture. And this is the whole idea. They want to randomly reorder these sub layers, randomly reorder. Then to see like this, this is just one one case. They they can be happen to be this, and is that this kind of model architecture better than the standard transformer? And actually, they they did an experiment that reorder a lot of different transformer models and found out this kind of architecture. Like sandwich, if you put a lot of attention layers first and、uh, a lot of fifth order layers on the top of the the model, then you can have a very competitive、uh, performance. It's consistently outperform the standard transformer models. 
So I will cover this sandwich transformer first, but let's look at how they discover this. So the first question they want to ask is interleaving architecture optimal? Inter interleaving is like the standard transformer. The interesting fact is that the transformer was this like design by human. They didn't really do the architecture neural network, neural network architecture search. They just, I think they come up with this idea with their intuition, their interleaved transformer. And still, three years later, the transformer is still a very, very competitive model. If you look at NLP, uh, most of state-of-the-art state NLP model, the majority of them use the interleaved architecture. So how can this be, is this like the coincidence or there's actually some architecture, different architecture that actually can outperform the standard transformer? That's the question they want to answer. So they randomly order the twin, the, they randomly reorder the sub layers of trans transformer uh, from the standard transformer. So the standard transformer you have uh, 16 self retention layers and the 16 FIFO uh, layers. And this is like a bird based model. And they they use the same number of uh, sub layers, but they reorder it there then. And they definitely pre train from scratch and pre train on the wiki text 103, which is a very uh, common state I say to benchmark your language models. So they also train the standard transformer, bird based model, uh, on this data set with five different random seeds. Okay, so this is their results. The numbers in bold uh, means they are from the standard transformer. They are five uh, generated, trained, trained by the different uh, random seeds. And the other numbers are from the random ordered transformer. And you can see the standard transformer models just don't guarantee you will have the best result. There are a lot of uh, random order transformer outperform the standard transformer. So this is encouraging. This is the first step. Because if this first step tells us that the standard transformer models always outperform the non-standard transformer, the non-interleaved -inter transformers, then we don't need to go uh, to the next steps, right? Because there's nothing to discover. The interleaved transformers just the, the, the most optimal solution. But the conclusion so far is not. So that's why we have the rest of the paper. So they, 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 sh they show, show this on the distribution map. So you can see like the standard deviation of the render models are big. Uh, you can see some model perform very well, even better than the standard one. But some models perform uh, not, really, not really well, it's quite bad actually. So the conclusion so far, the better a better ordering probably exists. So the next question they wanted to ask was, are balanced architectures better? Uh, the balanced architectures here uh, basically mean you have the equal number of uh, attention layers and uh, FIFO layers. So previously the experiments they I show you, uh, even they reorder randomly reorder the sub layers, but they still have the same number of attention in the FIFO layers. So here they want to break this kind of uh, balance. So they train uh, twenty unbalanced transformer models, which means they may have uh, more attention layers or uh, more FIFO layers. But uh, the, the the kind of the catch here is. Uh, the number of in terms of the parameters, FIFO layer have two times of uh, parameters than the attention layer, so you cannot just have the uh, uh, randomly imbalanced uh, uh, transformer. For example, you limit the number of sub layers, then you randomly choose maybe ten, uh, ten attention 
and 20 feet forward or one attention 29 feet forward you cannot just do this why because they don't have the same number of, of parameters if you do this your neural network uh, architecture will end up have very different uh, number of parameters and it's not really fair for comparison because uh, for the networks they have more FIFO layers they will have more expressive power because they have more num more parameters right so what I do is to limit the parameter budget they just uh, make the all imbalance transformer models have the same number of parameters yeah but they, they are not balanced in terms of uh, sub layer types okay so this is the result um, as you can see there are uh, some variation uh, in terms of uh, capacity as low as uh, 18 low 18 and uh, high 22 and you can see there's uh, some pattern for those who has more attention layers in the button of new network they tend to have better performance right so like this the best new network uh, the bottom one the bottom ones they their attention layer usually show up first then after that like sandwich inter interleaf structure in the middle and uh, the FIFO layers on the top of the new network that so they, they draw the conclusion like is attention first FIFO later if you want to design your transformer on balance transformer or even balance but it's not non inter interleaved transformer models you should put attention layers first then FIFO later so this is layer uh, for the further analysis they kind of uh, do the statistic for the bottom half of a new network which means the first few layers of the first uh, uh, few layers of the uh, transformers and I found out okay, so for those model are uh, worse than baseline they basically have a balanced number of uh, attention layer and the FIFO layer but for, for those who perform better than the baseline it's very obvious you have more self-attention layers than FIFO layers on the bottom bottom half so this is interesting and another is to they also analyze the top half layers and they found out yeah for those models are uh, better than the baseline they have more FIFO layers on the top half so means the same conclusion right you should put attention layers more attention layers in your in the bottom of your new network and the more FIFO layers in the top of your new network then they kind of inspired by that result and they was was thinking can we actually design a better transformer because we already have the the, the principle attention first FIFO later okay so uh, this is their idea they designed a, a sandwich transformer basically means the sandwich transformer means they have a number called K is a sandwich coefficient which can be written like this so let's just look at this this is the standard transformer the standard transformer means uh, they have uh, equal number of uh, attention layers and the uh, FIFO layers and uh, they are interweaved like this uh, means you always have so attention layer FIFO layer attention layer FIFO layer interleaved architecture and the sandwich one means uh, you have uh, first the self attention layers and the interweaved interleaved section and then the FIFO only layers and the K is the coefficient to adjust how sandwich do you want this model to be if k equals to zero then you put in they say n n e, n is 16 here then if k is zero here then you will have the standard transformer if k is like equals to n then you will have super super uh, unbalanced uh, super super non-interleaved transformer which means you will have uh, the 16 self-attention layers first then the 16 uh, people layers on the top of the new network
So you, you, they ch you can change the K to adjust the sandwich label. So as you can see, the transformer on the top, the A transformer here, this is the interleaf transformer when K equals to zero, when K equals to zero. And this is the sandwich transformer when K equals to six. So you will have the uh, many attention layers first, then interleaved architecture in the middle, and the fifth row layers on the top of model. Okay, so uh, as you can see, uh, the sandwich transformer kind of uh, outperform the standard transformer. They they run the tra standard trans transformer five run, and they got this. Uh, capacity is around 18.6 and they also compare this model the baseline model to the sandwich transformer which is k equals to six this previously they the model they they found the best performing model so it's like even lower than 17 so it's a little bit outperform the baseline model it's, it's actually significant it's over over 0.5 percent. Uh, sorry, it's not percent. It's 0.5 capacity, which is huge actually. And they compare to the previous the state of the R model K N N language model. I still cannot outperform that. By the way, this uh, data they used to train and evaluate its wiki text. So uh, the period previous is still the state of the R K N N language model uh, still very strong it's very hard to surpass but they prove that the sandwich transformer may be better than the standard transformer okay so this is the performance over sandwich coefficient as you can see if you have the like k equals to uh, low numbers means it's uh, it's very non sandwich it's more conventional transformer then you have the performance which is just like in the middle and if you have a super sandwich it's not super sandwich super super non interleaved transformer it's pretty extreme just pull a atten attention layer in the f in the in the buttons and the uh, fifth wall layers on the top then you have the worst performance the what actually performs most the best it's those models that have the kind of uh, sandwich coefficient equals to half your uh, number of uh, bird blocks, which is around six to nine. Then you have the better performance. So that this just tells us that the sandwich architecture maybe is good. Sandwich, I mean, you have the attention interleaved and uh, V4, this kind of section. So this is the distribution of uh, model capacities. Um, you can see that uh, the sandwich models, 16 to uh, six, which is K equals to six sandwich transformers, outperform the baseline in every single case. They use the five random, different random seats to train these two types of model then the conclusion is the sandwich transformer is always better than the baseline model which is very very inspiring i would say okay so uh they also want to apply the this kind of experiment to different domain they do the same kind of a comparison on the toronto books corpus which is a little bit different from Wikipedia. So if this kind of is the, the thing they try to verify how transformable this model architecture is. And they run the baseline five runs, five runs got the 11.8 capacity and the stealthy R model, KNN, KNN language model, uh, perform very well 10.8 and the surprising thing is the transformer, sandwich transformer, when K equals to seven, it actually performed as good as stealthy R model. Slightly better, but it's not significant. But you can see it's 
very very significant outperform the baseline is one capacity which is huge and you can say they achieve the state of the art on the Toronto books copers that's pretty cool but previously we did the uh, two of the experiments all of them are language modeling can this kind of transformer architecture language transformer also do very well in the other domain especially when the other model architecture are fundamentally different like machine translation because as you know in the language modeling uh, they use the the kind of the task capacity it's not capacity it's like a in inherent uh, property of the task uh, it's very different between machine translation and uh, language modeling and de definitely in the model architecture are slightly different okay so in machine translation the transformer here contains encoder and the decoder for the decoder part it's a little bit tricky because the decoder have three one decoder block have three sub layers First one is the course attention, attention layer. It pays attention, it gets the input from the encoder output. And another is self-attention. Self-attention basically to get the input, pay attention to your, the, the words that pre you already translated. Okay, so this is the fifth row layer. For these two block, self-attention and the fifth row, which is exactly the same as the encoder, but the different thing the additional thing here is cross attention layer here or oh, in original word paper sorry in the original attention is all you need they call it encoder decoder layer if you are not familiar with that i have i have already made a video about that i will put it in the description down below if you are interested you can click and watch the video you probably will get more more understanding of that okay so what I do is, because now we have uh, more one more capacity, we have self-attention, cross-attention, and the people layer. We have three sub-layers, and how we kind of uh, reorder them. If we just randomly reorder, then the combination will be too many. So they did a little bit of constraint. They group the self-attention and the cross-attention together. So no matter what, you cannot switch this order. It's always self-attention and cross-attention. Uh, this kind of thing, yeah. I, th yeah, this order I think is you should always course attention first and the self attention later, right? But I'm not really sure why this opposite here, but never mind, you get the idea. Just uh, like they group self attention and the course attention as a unit, you cannot change them. Okay, so this is when k equals zero, which is standard self attention, course attention, fee for and periodically this is k equals one means you have uh self-attention cross attention self-attention cross attention this is a sandwich the attention block and this is the this is the attention block the first one and this is the like the uh, interleaf block here and this is the fifth word block but anyway you get the idea now i perform this on the English to German translation WMT 2014 on the transformer architecture as in space transformer base which we had which has six encoders six decoders and uh, they do the different sandwich coefficient to the encoder sandwich and the uh, decoder sandwich means in this case they do the sandwich coefficient equals one and only do to uh, do this to the encoder and only do this to or either do this to the encoder only or decoder only but why i feel weird why don't they combine both but i think that's because of budget if you want to uh just search every possible combination there will be too many and sometimes they have the compute budget because remember training one of this model is very expensive. Okay, so um, this is the result. As you can see now, 
it's not much different from the baseline model. No matter how you reorder the decoder or encoder transformer sublayers, you will always have a very similar performance. This is surprising because quite different from what we saw from the language modeling. Okay, so the discussion is sub is sub layer reordering task dependent because it works very well in the language modeling, but it's not as well in the trans translation task. Okay, I think it needs more exploration because they didn't do this on the other language tasks like NER, sentiment classification, uh, like a natural language inference, a lot of many different tasks. I think the future work maybe is to perform this on a super glue data set, uh, which contain a variety of language uh, tasks. Okay, so the transformers architecture are robust to sub order reordering. I think so, because even we seen a lot of results so far, the performance late some of them are different, but it's not more than a 5% difference. Um, yeah, so transformer architecture are quite robust to a sub layer reordering because if it's, if it's not really robust, the performance should be changing more drastically. But even like uh, the capacity wise, just uh, like as much as one capacity, which is huge, but it's not as huge if you consider you actually change the model architecture a lot. Okay, reordering all three sub layers may improve performance, which means which means you don't uh, group the self attention across attention sub layers as a unit. You can if what if you can randomly put you back two of them as well, then probably you will improve the performance. But they didn't uh, do that in this paper. Maybe leave it to the future work. So the summary for this paper is attention first, fee for later. If you really want to redesign the transformer model for NLP task, and maybe this will be also a applicable for other different domain, for example, computer vision, but definitely more exploration and experiments are needed. Probably will be an interesting research area. And also, the standard transformer model is not is not optimal uh, because there are some different transformers they can significantly outperform the standard transformer, and one of them is sandwich transformer. Trans sandwich transformer is actually quite competitive. It's quite good uh, if you choose the sandwich coefficient to uh, six in the 16 layer bird. If you enjoyed the video, give it a like and don't forget to subscribe for more relevant deep learning videos like this. And other than that, take care. Until next time.